a lonely heart. A man who was divorced, his wife gave him nearly half a million dollars in the divorce settlement, goes looking for love online, and it ends in tragedy. Oh, no, he wasn't set up. The bride from the Ukraine learns that he was planning to have her shipped in a crate to the U.S., held hostage in a fortified bunker, tortured, then murdered. We are taking your calls. Unleash your lawyers. Jennifer Smatter, Chicago. Dwayne Cates, L.A. Holly Hughes, Atlanta. First out to you, Holly. Weigh in. Well, you know, the two aren't mutually exclusive, Nancy. He could be a nut job, and right now, you know, those are charges pending against him, but that doesn't preclude her from being a scheming, scamming, ripoff artist. It's clear she did not intend to marry this man. She's milking him for all he's Why worth. Why do I care? And when Why do I care out, if she's but, scheming and scamming? Okay, but to it's not you, until Holly, he finds that out that he wants me to ship her mind. in a crate. Don't. Okay, but Liz, he wanted get a relationship her. with her. Don't care. Don't care. And let me remind you, Holly, all of you have practiced law in many, many courtrooms where lady justice is featured prominently. She is wearing a blindfold. Why? So she doesn't see the race. Uh, she doesn't see the gender. She doesn't see the sex preference, the origin, the economic or social condition of the victim or the right. defendant. I, but Nancy, she hears the fact hear you again? her ears are covered. Okay, so she hears I'm the now going to go to Dwayne Cates and you can cut Holly's mic. Dwayne it doesn't matter if she's scheming, conniving, a slithering snake in the grass headed straight for his bank account. I don't care. What I care about is a would-be murder. Come on. A crate? Dwayne Case, give me your best defense. A crate, Dwayne. He wants her shipped to the U.S. in a crate. Nancy, this is a pure case of entrapment. He was angry because he got ripped off and duped, and he went on the internet, started venting, and the, a confidential informant picked that up. Now, that's a nice name for a snitch. So some snitch trying to work off a crime sees him venting on the internet, goes to the ATF, and they set this guy up. They talk him into this. He was just venting. And now all of a sudden they're going, hey, maybe we can do this. Maybe we can get her here. Maybe we can do that. They talked him into this crime, Nancy. Okay, Kate, and this is after I've he was I've got to duped. agree with you that their defense would be entrapment, but I don't think it's going to work. And this is why Jennifer Smatters, let's go with, let's take a combination of Holly Hughes and Dwayne Cates, because that's what a jury's going to hear. They're going to get a character assassination of the Ukrainian mail order bride. We know that. Holly is right about that, whether it's relevant or not. But the kicker is the entrapment theory. It won't work because of this, Jennifer. He goes to the CI, confidential informant, and says, I want to kill this girl. This is what I want you to do. In fact, I want you to be the one to ultimately kill her because I may not have the guts to do it. The next yeah, day, CI goes to police. They email him back and say, are you still interested? He writes back within 24 hours and says, yes. The police did not approach him first, Jennifer. Nobody twisted his arm. What we're looking at here, and I'm really shocked at these attorneys, as well as Mr. Mack and Mr. Levitan, for having a bleeding heart for what we have here are obvious predatory behavior. A man using money to try and buy influence over a woman that he is perceiving as being an object to do with as he pleases. And clearly, the evidence is showing what he chose to do with this woman was was kill her ultimately after confining her and having his way with her. It's 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 unspeakable. Yeah, they they and, only and say having his way with her in romance novels is called rape. 